Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the StockSwissShow.com uh, review of Oracle. Oracle's gapping down tonight. Here it is. You can see it. Oops, there's where it closed tonight at 42.51. Now it's gapping down at 39.75. Decent gap down here in Oracle. Looking at this for a short, for a short, for a short, for a short. The problem is that this isn't a clean gap. Nope. It's a watch, but I'll tell you right now, this is going to be tough sledding here tomorrow on this puppy. So I'm not going to watch this as a top pick. I'm going to watch the SWHC as my top pick. But I know everybody loves Oracle, and there'll be five, six million people in this tomorrow before the open. There could even be like eight. There's going to be a lot of people in this tomorrow morning. The gap's going to fall through on the morning, but the problem is, is it's going to fall through in the day. So here's how this is going to play out, and I don't, I, don't, I don't know where this exactly opens tomorrow morning. It's just so far away from now, but it's going to hold the gap. Two things are going to happen here with this. Either it's going to open immediately and break, and you're going to have to be right out for a quick short, and it's going to flip, even though it's a bearish gap, or it is going to rally. Rally look like it's going to hold, break late on a 5 or 15 minute chart, and then fall all day and bleed. So neither one is an ideal setup for me, quite frankly. It's better if this rallies first, but an immediate break in this I do not think holds the high of the day. So FYI, if you choose to be aggressive on this, you got to give yourself two trades. I, I, this isn't going to trade clean tomorrow. I, just, I, I would be shocked, absolutely fall on the floor. Fall off my desk chair if this trade's clean tomorrow. Why? Because the market's bullish, and Oracle's a market stock, and the market's very, 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 very bullish. Even though it traded down into itself today, the market is still holding unbelievably strong, and Oracle's a market stock, and even though it's gapping down, I don't see the panic coming into this thing to fall off a planet in this stock. I don't see dream targets. I don't see anything crazy in this, but it is a good short if it sets up correctly. The best thing for it to do would be to rally first and then set up, but is it going to do it? What, what could happen is it gets a push, a push into the first five, 10 minutes of the day and then flips. And then it's not going to have an extension to the downside. So it's better if this rallies first for Oracle. And I'd wait for a confirmed entry on that on the five minute if you can get it. So I'm going to watch this and look at it. It could do something to make me like it even more tomorrow morning, but I doubt it. I think Oracle's going to be a choppy trade tomorrow to short. It is not a long. And even if the day ends up closing green tomorrow on this, this is not a long here for anyone to, to try to do tomorrow. It's, it's just not something you want to go long, okay? Because this, this is really actually gapping down. I mean, it really is. It closed at 42.50, and it's down at 39.79, and that isn't uh, bullish, okay? That is weak. It's, it's weak for this moment, in this time frame, in this day. But will it have a day trade short in it? You know, that's the question here. Where did this actually go here? 3880. It's too bad this isn't better. I'm actually surprised this is gapping down. I'm surprised this is gapping down today. I, I, I anticipated SWHT gapping down, but not this. I just didn't think it was going to, but it is. So I'll be watching this tomorrow. It's a watch. It's not my top pick. It's a pick, but not the top pick. It's a watch. It's what I call a watch. This is a watch tomorrow, and we'll see what it does. Could it go and break early and go and fall all day like a crazy person? Yes. High odds it happens? No. You know what the best thing this could do to be the the best thing in the world could, this could do is open, pop, set up, go, and go all day. That's, that's, that's the best thing this could do to have a pop in it. Kind of like the way the Twitter was. That's what this could do. I don't know if it's going to do it, though. Yeah, that's what this needs to do. In an ideal world, Oracle opens tomorrow, pops and goes, and runs all day. And that's what it should do. Do I think it's going to do that, though? No. I think it's going to have a topping tail and a bottoming tail on a body of some color that could be green or it could be red. I think uh, this is going to be a tough trade tomorrow, but it definitely is something to watch. And it could look better tomorrow morning than it does right now. <clears throat> but right now, it's right on the cusp. And I didn't rate it yet, and I'm not going to rate it into the morning anyways, because these things can change so much. This could be down at 36 by tomorrow morning, or it could be up at 41. 
Either way, it's going to have millions and millions and millions of volume shares in it tomorrow morning for the open. So there's just, just wait on it. But it's a definite watch. If you like to do things, I'd watch it for a short tomorrow. I wouldn't go long this of any regard, even if it opens and reverse swishes. Okay? So Oracle's a good watch for tomorrow as well. So this is a, Melissa with the stock, swish.com. Have a fantastic day, everybody, or evening, I should say. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks.